So we've already covered social media and how to start growing your brand as a VA and how to start capturing emails for people who are interested in your service. And there's a really cool tool that I recommend you use to capture a little bit more data in a really awesome visual way, and that's called Typeform. So as a VA, there are times that when you're ready to get a new client that you have to collect information from them. Maybe you want to know what kind of services they're looking for, if they're working within a budget, if they even care that you're in their same time zone. Whatever info you need from them for you to decide if you want to move forward with them as a client or not, you can actually capture those details using Typeform for free. I know there are a lot of other tools out there that you do have to pay for that do the same thing, but I personally find that this very visual tool captures that data beautifully with ease and at no cost. So I'm going to show you what this looks like because we actually use this on our website as well. Right now, I've set up a type form for anybody who wants to be interviewed on our podcast. Now, I will show you in a little bit how to use this and how to set it up as though you're capturing data from a client. But type form makes capturing data really, really pretty. And you can see here, this is my type form. It's in the blue and it starts off always with a hello. And it just guides you through different questions and it makes it really visually appealing. So as you can imagine, your clients can be filling out these details too, like email. I don't know if it's going to accept that one. Oh, it did. Um, but anyway, it, you can see it's very simple to kind of walk through different questions and uh, you just keep hitting enter and it just keeps asking you these questions. So I'm going to show you what this looks like if you're capturing client data or prospective client data. What you want to do is, as always, sign up for account. And once you guys are signed in, when you're first new to Typeform, you'll see this workspace as just a blank space. So what we want to do is head up here to new Typeform. And then you can pick a template, which I think is really cool. So you can actually um, look for something that you think is visually appealing, or maybe there's something that matches your brand colors, or you can create kind of your own, um, which they make it very easy to do. So I've just selected template gallery. I want to look at a couple more templates. And we're going to click start from scratch. Now the nice thing about starting from scratch is that it allows you to make a type form that's perfectly tailored to you. So you can have a welcome screen. Again, this could be anything like, hello, welcome to my VA channel. You could do multiple choice. You could do things like, again, what sort of services are you looking for? And you can add choice one. Choice, choice A, choice B, choice C, you get it. Uh, something else that I actually really like to do, let's get rid of this block. Let's add statement email rating date. Let's see, let's have a drop down. Why not? Let's see, um, what sort of budget are you working with? Budget is always a good one to know. Um, let's add zero dollars. Hopefully they're not working with zero dollars to 5,000 a month, or let's say they're looking for 5,000 to 10,000 a month. So something like this gives you a good idea for what this prospective client is looking for. So you can go through these blocks and you can add anything like photos, um, files, if you wanted to attach to maybe your portfolio, you can add virtually anything that you need to. And then let's say you're happy with what you've created. You're actually going to hit the submit button. Oh, and before I forget to mention that uh, you can also change the colors. So if you look here on the left hand side, it's, um, the wrench is your toolbar for how you delete blocks, edit them, move them. Um, the first block is how you actually add them, but you'll see this little color dropper. That's great for design if you want to change the color scheme. So if you have certain colors that match with your brand design, then you want to make sure you're changing those colors as well. And once you're done and you're happy with the form that you've created, we're actually going to come over here to the share option. And this is where you will find your live type form. So this is the link that you then want to put either on your website or on your social media, or you can even attach it to your email signature. Anywhere where you think you can capture um, details from prospective clients is where you want to include this link. And I'm going to show you what this looks like through an incognito window. So you can see just briefly the thing that we've designed. So anytime a prospective client signs up and clicks on the link that you've created, you'll see their welcome page, they'll start, and then they can do what kind of things are you looking for? What sort of budget are you working with? They can uh, select a drop down. So they're saying, okay, I'm, I'm working between this and they'll hit submit. 
Okay, great. So now that your client has filled out those details, you might be wondering, well, where the heck do those results actually go? And there are two ways that we can actually check those results. Number one, you can check it right on the Typeform website so you can see exactly what people are choosing. Okay, so that's just one way you can check your results under the results tab. But the other way you can do if you don't wanna have Typeform open is that you can come up here to the integrate tab and then you can set it up Typeform to work with different things like Google Sheets. So if you like to use Google, then Google Sheets is a really great option. You're just wanna, gonna click connect and you're gonna choose the appropriate email address to connect to. And once you've connected those two together, anytime somebody fills out, so anytime a client fills out the Typeform application, you can actually open up your Google spreadsheet and you can look at the results. And this is exactly what it looks like. So maybe not as clean as you had hoped, but I like to use this uh, Google Sheets integration because I like to just be able to check really quickly to see who's filling out my type form. So I hope you guys found value in this one. It's a really great tool and free way for you guys to capture prospective client details, especially if you're trying to gain new clients and grow your business. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, check out our full course on Udemy, the must have tools for virtual assistants. The full course comes with over two and a half hours full of tutorials that are on demand. Be sure to check it out up on Udemy, search for must have tools for virtual assistants, or go ahead and look up our account under F the office.